Welcome everyone to MOTD. First up today I'm showing you the Minecraft Creeper Mask and if you like Minecraft you're going to appreciate this. This is the modder's first ever mod and I think this is amazing to say this is a person's first mod they've ever created for the game because this is some high quality shit to say the least. Now there are five variations of this mask. This is the original creeper mask which I think looks amazing on the character. It's been adapted for Skyrim, it's made out of iron. It's originally called the iron creeper mask. So it's not pixelated like it would be out of Minecraft. So it's been adapted for the game. So in a way it is actually law friendly. It's not immersion breaking because why wouldn't they make a mask like this? I mean they could wear it right and you'll notice in this variation we have horns on the sides sort of like the Dover King helmet which is a nice little feature I mean I love the fact that this has five variations of the mod this one is the level 2 mask and you'll notice the main difference is that the horns have been turned upside down and slightly tilted to one side so not much of a change, but there is a change there, and that's the most important thing. Variation is good. Now the level 3 helmet, and again, we've seen the change in the horns. They are now sort of bending, like a spike, or should I say a claw. Either way, it looks amazing still, and I think I like this out of them all. I've already seen all five variations and this one is the best out of them all, in my opinion. It's just the one I like the most. The most visually appealing for me at least. And finally, the level 4 mask. Now this time you can really see the difference as the horns have been moved together and on the front. The same design as level 3, just on the front and together and pointing inwards. And I like this as well, it's my second favourite. But to me, it doesn't beat the uh, Mask 3. Either way, these are awesome. They're just plain awesomeness. Now, before I move on, there's one more thing about this mod. The original Iron Creeper also comes in a destructive enchanted variation, which will make it so your destruction spells cost 25% less to cast. So, yay! Another awesome addition. Now, up next, I have something that I'm really excited about, being a player who uses archery quite a lot. Now, this is called the HG Quiver Overhaul, version 1.0. Now, the goal of this mod is to retexture every quiver, including its arrows, in full HG quality. And version 1 includes Ebony, Daedric, Steel, Orcish, Dwarven, Elven, Glass, Heroic and Iron. Now, I've not completed the game like I said, I've never had the time, but I'm in the progress of doing so, so I'm not sure what the heroic arrows actually are. From my research, all I can find is the Nord hero arrows, which I assume is what the modern means, maybe, and I'm wearing them right now on my back, so I assume it's these arrows. Either way, we'll find out when I look at the texture packs. What I'm going to do is show you a comparison. I will show you, for example, the Ebony Quiver, and then I'll show you the Ebony HG Quiver. So, let's have a look.
and last up today is a mod I was going to do yesterday called the two-handed Dwemer rifle now you may have seen the one-handed version now we have finally got the two-handed version now because it's two-handed it is technically a crossbow so it requires dawn guard of course anyway just like the other one it's got the same features pretty much but before I show you it you've got to come to the drunken huntsman in wide run and you'll find it on the table right here next to the book and your follower anyway here it is and as you notice there is a custom draw sound just like before we have a custom draw sound custom charge and a custom fire same sounds as before and it pretty much fires any bolts that you want these are steel bolts right now and it fires any ones I've tried a few and it fires any bolts so that's one good thing at least the only thing I'd say is a problem right now is if you look you can see like some black lines it seems like a texture problem but it will get fixed and it's not that much of a problem to be honest especially since the other day the textures weren't working at all so at least we can actually see the thing now and I think it looks really good anyway this is the rifle in the zoomed mode where you can see detail and you can see these little black shards all around it but like I said I think that's just a texture problem which will get sorted out the modder is working on it there's been a few problems so far but they've all been fixed so I'm sure this will as well but overall it looks great we finally got a two-handed Dwemer rifle now let's see how powerful it is got a few random NPCs crosshairs are not on so let's get point blank yeah, it's powerful. It's powerful. Do anyway, that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed the episode. As always, please like, comment, subscribe, and check the box below for download links. And check back every day for more episodes. Again, thanks for watching.